Today I'm going to tell you about this new guitar that I got. It's a travel guitar. This is going to be one of my first opening the box videos. Box opening videos. Here goes! Now I was recently traveling with my family and I got the hankering to play some guitar and I didn't have one with me. So I started looking into some options for something I could take around and travel with. And for mobile drumming, you can see my other video about the free drum kit that I've got because I, I got that handled. I can drum while I'm on the road, but this is for a guitar. And this is what I ended up finding. It's called the Enya Nova Go Carbon Fiber Travel Guitar. Look at this thing, it's pretty small. Let's get into opening it up. All right, here we go, opening, opening. Some scissors in here, scissors in here. So this guitar ends up being less than $200. I paid $199.99 for this, plus tax. Comes out to a little bit more than $200. And this is how it came, this is from Amazon. Took two days, prime shipping. Here we go, let's see what's in here. Oh, would you look at that, comes with another box inside the box. Wow, unboxing a box with another box inside the box. Well, all right, it came packaged pretty well. Let's open this up and see what we've got going on inside. Set of strings. It comes with its own case, travel case. Look at this thing. I think I could check it and it would probably be okay. And an airplane out. Here we go, it's a little soft shell case. It's got the Nova Go on it. it. Has a little strap for it that actually doubles as the guitar strap too. Okay, here we go, opening it up. All right, it comes packaged with a bit of a, uh, covering here. That's great. Protection. Pull this off. Oh, that. oh backwards. There we go. This thing is made of carbon fiber. You could probably drive a car over this and it wouldn't affect it. got this cool Les Paul kind of uh, vibe to it. Looks more like an electric guitar than an acoustic guitar. Let's see what we got going on inside the case here. Oh, little, little pouch with, look at that, little strap buttons and a truss rod adjusting hex key. And a little wiping cloth to go with it. Now, I don't know if this has anything to do with the uh, recording artist, Anya, but that's the brand, and that kind of does look like her uh, signature, but maybe they're just trying to fool you. This is, look at that. Okay, let's tune this thing up and see what it's got. Ooh. I'm gonna put the strap buttons on. So I'll take these little strap buttons, carefully place them on. Come on, you can do it. This strap's going anywhere. Ooh, me. And one, this longer one here on the bottom. Okay, now that I've got these on, I can put the strap on and that comes off of the case. Pull it off of this right here. Pretty cool design if you ask me. It's padded and everything. Ooh, 
neck dive. Whoa, neck dive like crazy. So there you have it, unboxed and pulled out, tuned up. Well, we'll see on my next trip how this travels. It's pretty light, very solid, sounds pretty good even too. So we'll see how this travels. A little bit of, a little bit of rough frets. You can hear that. Not too bad. That'll get that'll get sorted out as I play it. Found a high fret. That's all right. I'm gonna fix it. Just have to file it down. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna use my little guitar kit to sand down this high fret. This one right here, I just marked it. You can tell it is actually popped out a little bit. I might try to lightly tap it in, but we'll see. Okay, so what I've done here is I've loosened all the strings way down, and then what I'm gonna do is stick one of these up underneath here to raise the strings up so that I can start working on this fret right here. Okay, now that I've got the strings up, I take my file and I'm going to just rub it on the fret right along here until all of that is gone. All of that Sharpie marker that I put on there is gone. All right, a little trick to this is to put some painter's tape in between on the fretboard. You see I already scratched it a little bit. I'm going to fix that. All right, so I've got that taped off and I used my flat file to file it down and now I'm using this round one just to round over the corners. And after that, I'll go over it with uh, some fine sandpaper and maybe an emery board. But I actually bought this little uh, fingerboard care kit um, that actually has um, a cool little emery board thing in it. I can show you that right here. It came with this. Now I'm not going to use the rest of that because it's for wooden uh, fretboards that, you know, to make it shine. This is carbon fiber. You know, I'm not going to do anything conditioning with the woods. This right here was that high fret. No more. All right, got that polished up. So just that one little issue out of the box. Um, otherwise, in pretty good shape. Um, so far, I'm pretty happy with it. And now for a little test of the guitar and see how it sounds.
All right, after all that polishing and sanding, I think I got this high fret all taken care of, and so this thing is ready to roll. Came with strings. It sounds pretty good. Feels like it's gonna be very solid. Um, I think I'm just gonna carry it on when I go traveling, but uh, I think I got a cool little travel guitar here. I'll let you guys know more about it, you know, as soon as I know more about how it travels, but apparently these things are supposed to be pretty solid to where you can put them in the sun, you can leave them in your car, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. It's not gonna warp, it's not gonna crack or anything like that. This carbon fiber is, you know, strong, strong stuff. So thanks for watching. And like the kids always tell me to say, don't forget to hit like and, and subscribe. subscribe and click that notification bell. Ding. <laughs>